back to the classics here. Main objective is that way. Because I said to go to Rito Village. Well, I kind of wish I had a bird, not going to lie. Or not a bird, a, a fucking horse. Money. Money is good. Spicy peppers. There do be a lot of clouds over Rito Village over there. Aha. Egg. Then we are probably going to need to head over that way there. Because that looks like it's the Skyview Tower. Uh. Was that the whole fucking tree? That's the whole fucking tree. I'll, I'll leave you alone, Mr. Tree. I don't know why you decided to come alive, but... I don't want to deal with that. Let me get to the egg. I want the egg. A windy device. Uh... Was that really the trick? I don't know if that's what I was supposed to do, but... Uh, this guy. Clever. Big brain. Solid. Any free shit anywhere? No free shit. Are you kidding me? I like these puzzles. They're clever. I really like these Zelda games. This one's really good so far. Okay, so red is main objective. Yellow is the tower. And then whenever we see a shrine... We'll attempt to... Ah, this guy. This dude. Uh... That is doing, like, no damage. And there's a shrine there. And a stable. Can I get horses? This is a big-ass crop circle thing that we saw in the trailers. Is that Impa? What a surprise to see you here after all this time, Link. I heard you had gone missing. It's certainly a relief to see you back and in one piece, more or less. And Princess Zelda, where is she? Oh. What? She still is yet to return? In that case, we must use all the available means to search for her. Link, when Princess Zelda went missing, something else happened all over Hyrule. During the feeble, huge pictures appeared out of nowhere, images and sprawled across Hyrule fields and across fields and hills. We are calling them geoglyphs. I understand they have been found in locations across the kingdom. Kato and I traveling from region to region in hopes to see them all. I noticed the ge uh, geoglyphs from the distance while I was standing on high ground. Examining it up close, I could not make out what it deciphered. Uh, I thought I might have a better view from up in the sky. I took to the air and the balloon Pura gave me, and then, alas, the wind struck and completely sheared the balloon off the base. I have wrecked my brain for ways to reattach two parts, but to no avail. Okay, so where's the balloon then? Aha! I got it, Impa, don't worry. Oh, you fixed my balloon. Thank you, Link. Will you come with me to look at Geoglyph then? Sure. Time to head out then. 
Uh, I nearly forgot. Would you mind doing one final thing for me? Uh, light a fire there, and the balloon shall start to float. Then we can be on our way. Oh, wait. Is this it? Yeah. There we go. Very nice. Oh. Too high up, I feel faint. Hmm. But finally, we can see it, the geoglyph. Well done, Link. You know, I read something in uh, the village's old literature, a passage about what the ancients called Dag Dragon's Tears. Where the tears rest upon the earth, we mark down the images to which they gave birth. I believe this geoglyph is such image, but even from this uh, vantage, its meaning is no clear to me. Nor can I figure out what dragon's tears might be. But you know, if the literature is correct, one of them should be quite close near the geoglyph, or even within its borders. Would you look around this? Uh, this could be the clue we need to discover Princess Zelda's whereabouts. If you would like to examine the geoglyphs from ground level, you can float down with a paraglider. No need to worry about me. I can manage a simple landing. Alright. Hmm. Oh my god, just go in. Uplifting device. If I go up to the very top up here, I might find some free shit. Nothing here. I don't see anything. Oh my god, I feel so dumb. That wasn't even the hard part of the puzzle, was it? <laughs> a flaming ball. Slowly but surely it's working. <sighs> this stuff is kind of complicated, not gonna lie. Sick. Free shit. Solid. No, I don't see any horses. I don't even think I have enough. Do I have enough rubies? How much money do I have? 22? Yeah, I could probably open it up. But I still need a horse. There's no horses around here. Okay, well, we're gonna keep on moving on. Keep going that direction. We have to get up there. So we can get some mappage. Is that Hetsu? Hetsu? Hey buddy. My dude, my guy. Hetsu. Hey, hey bud. Shalaka. What's wrong? Did someone steal your maracas again? Those trees over there, so scary, Shalaka. Uh, set the bitch on fire. Burn the bitch down. It's okay, Hetsu. I solved it. It's okay. You're fine now. You see me? You see me. My name is Hetsu. I'm the musician of Korok Forest. Up northeast. I'm known for my maracas and my dancing. I know. Ah, I wish I watched that now. There's more Koroks here. I don't know why you introduced me to you. I already know you, Hetsu. Bridge.
Here we go. Can I skip this? No. Boss mappage. Built to carry. Like this. that work? It worked. Solid. Are there 120 shrines in this game too? What time is it? It is 11 o'clock. I have to be at work in 12 hours, so I don't know how much more of this I'm going to be doing, but for now, we'll just be working slowly at it. Right, let's go over to this thingy. See what it do. Will it hurt me if I stand on this? Yes. Deaths. Wait, what? I should have read that. You get clan. I should probably be using something a bit stronger than that. Oh, what the fuck? You learned some new tricks. Eightfold blade. Sick. Okay, so that's just how I get out of here then. Okay, this does not seem worth it. I do not like this. What the fuck, bro? This does not seem worth it at all. I don't like it here. How do I get out? All right, I think once I get to Rito Village, we're gonna call it there. Or right, once I get the story going for that. Is that what I placed my beacon on? Looks kind of weird when it's stuck in the sky like that. Alright, well, I'm dipping out already. I just wanted to go steal your shit there. I just want to get to the to beat up. So I think if I follow this here, should take me eventually, right? What is that? Since when is there a fucking doorway into the mountain here? 
Or is that a s another secret cave discovery thing? Yep. What the fuck? Oh my god, what the fuck? Where did you come from? I need food. I don't like them. Alright, cool, thank you. Nope, he's dead. Topaz, nice, that's good money. I think I'm just gonna see if I can do this. Yeah, solid. Mappage right down over there. I think that's an enemy there. Ah, shoot, where did that... There it is. I think you should, guys should just leave me alone. Blood Moon. I gotta see this this time. It's different. Witness the blood moon's rise. When its red glow shines upon the land. The endless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. Just as they did in a war long past. The world is threatened once again. How about you leave me alone, my dude? First of all, there's that one up there. We're not going to get to it quite yet. But, where was that other one I saw? Thought I saw one right over here somewhere. That seems like it might be a new type of Korok seed here. Yep. Cool. Is that just three bokoblins? That should be easy enough. Hey, leave me alone. I'm trying to get the archer dude here. Hey, leave me alone. Oh my god. Solid. Just take all the Rito shit. Another free shit is in here. Oil jar. Okay. Thanks for the free shit. I'm leaving. To get all the way up there now. Alright. I'm almost to the tower. I don't see why I can't skip this, to be honest. It's the same thing every time. Come on, let me skip. That one I already got. What about the one I saw over there? That one's in the sky, but... Alright, we have to go to the red. I think we're heading here first. I got this shrine here. 